Hey guys, it's Friday. That means another video. And today I'm going to take you guys to show you how I install the DC power adapter. Let me show you. See this thing. Now I can charge my cell phone right over here. Let's see. Yep, it's charging. Video coming in a bit. All right, installing the DC power outlet onto the bike is pretty simple. You just have to remove the front cover with three millimeter so that you can get to the five millimeter bolt that will help you to remove the odometer from the attachment. That is required because we need to have access to two wires, which you see here that gets attached to the DC power outlet. So in order to access that, you may not see it up front. It might be hidden inside a insulation. So you may have to pull it out, pry it out carefully, not damaging the wire. When I took it, it was bent like this. So I have to carefully apply some pressure and pry it out. So that's the DC adapter itself. Then there is a collar that helps to keep that onto the handlebar. It's attached with a nut or a bolt and then two rubber gaskets and another nut that is attached onto the handlebar mount. And finally, there is a plastic cover to cover everything up. So that's pretty much it. You just have to install it one by one. All right, the way it installs is it's gonna sit, sit on this side on top like this. So after you remove the screw, keep it aside and just bring this one underneath it. And there you go, there you have it. So you just have to have this in place like this, you know, this bolt that gets attached to the side. All right, so it's a 10 millimeter bolt and it's a tight space. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys something. So this hook, when you put it in, this hook goes behind it. So you will notice it, but I can't show it in the camera but I noticed that when I flush it to the end like that, it easily goes and hold on to the side. So let me see if I can show you guys. Can you see that's the, that's the nut that fits in. Because the size is so tight, I found it useful to have a thin socket wrench so I can easily tighten it up. After tightening it up, then the rest of the process is just assembling. So the first step is to align the notch. So there is a notch on the metal frame that is attached to the handlebar and there is a notch on the DC power outlet itself. So that has to be aligned in a way that it doesn't move around. So once that is done, then you have to add the rubber gasket and the plastic uh, second gasket that has an opening. And then you screw it in the final piece, the collar, and that completes the installation. Then the next step is basically to put the cover in and there is a screw that goes at the bottom and the wire comes through the side. After that step, it's just pretty much easy. You just have to plug the wire in and then hide it underneath and put all the bolt and things back in place. Not to bore you much, I sped up the video, rest of the video where I'm putting all the bolt back in. So just the wire goes underneath that cover and then you can put the final hiding cover back in place and screw it up so that it's completely tightened up. After that, you can jump onto the bike and make sure it's all working. So it's time to test it out. So I have this car charger lying around, so I put it so I can see the light. If it's working, it should turn up blue. So plug it in and voila, it's all looking good. That's great news. Now turn it off. Let's make one more quick test to attach the actual phone and see if the phone is getting charged from the plug. It should, but you know, why not test it out? All right, now it looks like it's charging, so I think we are done here. Now we can turn it off and go for a quick ride. All right guys, so let's see. So I put a zip tie here so that there is no additional wire hanging out. So let's see. Yep, it's charging. So that's awesome. Come in my way. Maybe you can 
take it through here so that it's charging yep routed the cable through this this is the GoPro mount I have handlebar mount just to make sure that it doesn't run loose through while I'm riding so let's now take it for a ride and see if there is anything that is noticeable before that let me wear my gloves okay let's go I think I have not taken out the bike for almost two weeks now I don't know why but it was extremely hot so I just kept making excuses not to take the bike out because of the heat and the one thing I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video maybe I'll add it back is that in order for this to work you need to install the relay and I have made a video on how to install it that's a five minute job just have to take the cover from the left side right under here and then uh, plug in a relay you can buy the relay kit from Kawasaki I think it costs only $12 something like that and basically just attach it and uh, that's the only prerequisite that you need to ensure that you do that before uh, installing the power outlet but otherwise it won't work so forgot to tell you at the beginning one of my subscriber asked to make a video about how to downshift you know when I blip the throttle when downshifting I think he asked me to make a video about it I have the 360 camera so it would be easy now to show it because I can mount it here and then while I'm shifting gear I can easily show it how to uh, the timing right so for especially for new riders it will be a little intriguing to know how to blip the throttle pull the clutch change the gear and all that so why not it's all about learning together so I'm also learning enjoying so we can learn it together all right The other video that I am in the process of making is 10 things that I hate about Vulcan S. I mean there are nothing much to hate about so maybe I should call it as 10 things I don't like about um, because those are very minor and uh, nothing gets in the way of loving Vulcan when we started it was at 31 percentage of battery so if it was still charging it should still go up we will see I don't see any reason that it won't charge but who knows right so it's always good to check so stay tight I'll be cutting directly when I reach home and I'll show you how it is all right this is where we started so let's see yep it charged from 31 to 42 percentage so it's working 
I think uh, in the next video maybe I'll have think about how to route it through the handlebar all the way to the back of it so that it's not hanging out in the front all right guys that's all for today i'll see you in the next one take care bye